G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase video series where you guys send me your artwork via jazza.newgrounds.com and I review 10 of them a week on this series and one of them is picked to be on the front page of Newgrounds. Now those who don't necessarily get into the 10 featured every week do have a chance to be shown off in the Tumblr page which you can check out in the link in the description, jazzastudios.tumblr.com. Otherwise, these are the picks for this week. Our first piece is by artist Bad Rabbit and it is called Commander Shepherd. Everything's got a very polished feel. It's well compositioned in the way that it's a bit asymmetrical, but everything still feels very complete and like it's framed in a very intentional and appropriate way. The colors work well together and there's a bit of a hint of that reflective red light on the shading on the left of the character, which is very appropriate considering the weapon and the glow. Everything comes together in a great way. They've done a fantastic job. Our next piece is by an artist who is insisting on testing my international speaking skills. His name is Gabilo El Pilo and the piece is called La Desolacion da Red Portada. Port Anyways, that'll do. There's no fixing my foreign speaking skills. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure what is happening in this scene and were I a little more informed or could speak another language, I think it would be <laughs> much clearer to me. That aside, the technical execution of the piece is very well done. It's got a charming style and the character's expression is very clear and well executed. The shading is soft and simple, the colours work well together, and the framing of the piece is very well done and cohesive to the narrative. Our next piece is by artist Miss Lace and it's called Lady and the Stretchy Dog. As the artist describes it, it's human aid Lady Rainicorn with her very own Jake Stuffy. The stylization of this piece is very, very strong. I really like the line work and the colors. The lines aren't a solid black, they're a bit of a dark brown with a reddish hue which uh, works very well especially for a soft sort of cartoony feel. The way the colors are composed in particular on the background where we have these various stripes that gradient into the yellow from a pink or a blue or the purple works really well and the cell shading on the character and throughout the piece is very effective. Our next piece is by artist Sullop and it's called Arrival and this is another one of those pieces where the roughness at uh, a bit of a close view is uh, is invisible when you're kind of pulled away and it makes a very great concept piece. But when you do zoom in, you really see how really rough, how really sketchy everything is. And I find pieces like this just incredibly charming because it's amazing what can be achieved with such uh, swift brush strokes as long as the person knows what they're doing, as long as the eye is led in the right way and silhouettes are a main focal point of the piece and there's a good contrast between the uh, foreground and background and everything's laid in a way uh, and communicated very clearly, you can really do some incredible stuff with some incredibly simple strokes and techniques. So fantastic work and thank you for sharing that with us. Our next piece is by artist Declan Hart 93 and it's called Futuristic Viking Ships and if I have ever seen a giant detailed piece this is it this is actually one of the first times I've actually had to scale an image down for the artist showcase it's so big it doesn't load in my editing program it's incredibly high resolution so you can really get in there and see the details of the brush textures themselves and then zooming out to see how cohesive the forms of everything is that the perspective of the scene is very controlled and very well done for something that has such attention to detail uh, it's got a very broad control controlled execution. Our next piece is by artist Sayana and it's called Malfail. I think that's how it's pronounced and it is the villain from the upcoming Diablo 3 expansion. This piece was drawn in graphite or pencil and uh, was digitally coloured in and it's been done very effectively. It almost looks like the piece has been done completely digitally uh, except for when you zoom in you can of course see the graphite marks of the pencil but at a, an overall view they've done an incredible job and the shading itself is very ethereal and suited to the theme of the piece. And Next piece is by artist The Psycho Sheep and it's called Corpse Collector. Stylistically this artist has been making some great improvement and this piece very much speaks to that and I really like the, the simplicity with which this piece is done. Uh, in, in essence it's a single tonal colour with some basic shading and liner work to create the image but the style of the piece through that simplicity is just shining through it and incredibly well done. The silhouette is strong, the character design is very creepy and very effective, the line work is great Great. The shading is subtle and great. Everything is very polished and, and maintains the aesthetic that the artist is going for very well. Our next piece is by artist Vimnus 2 and it's called Avarice or Avarice. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. It's another Diablo 3 fan art piece of their Demon Hunter which is close to level 100 Paragon. Now for those of you who don't know what that means, that basically means that it's incredible that this artist has any time to improve their drawing skills uh, considering that they've got a character up to that level because it obviously takes a lot of work. But that being 
said, I don't know where they find the time, but they do because this piece is extremely well pulled off. It's got a great sense of motion and flow about it. It's very clear what it's an ode to. It's Diablo 3. Overall, a very impressive piece and congratulations on a level 100 Paragon. Our next piece is by artist Warty Newt and it's called Ice and there is not very much that can make you happier than a really minty, well done environmental piece. This is just astounding the way that the edges and the forms of the walls of this icy cavern have been captured is amazing. You can see very clearly where the light is shining above and the light uh, is casting a shadow from that wall. The colours are balanced really well because we've got the lighter hues of the blues on the right and then the shadowy slightly mixed with purple hues on the left which are a bit deeper and then we've got motion happening in the piece as well just through the conveyance of wind through the snow flying uh, with a bit of a motion blur in front of the what would be the camera for an environmental piece this is one of the better ones i've seen it's absolutely stunning they've done an incredible job keep it up and ladies and gentlemen our final piece and feature of the week is by artist ic23 and it's called i didn't want her to know there's just something about this piece which captures the emotional imagination of the viewer it's just done incredibly well well, the balance of warm hues and the colours of the piece and the way that there's a focus on the character and yet a bit of a blurry kind of glow in the background and the expression on the character's face is just incredible and really captures an emotion. Those things aside, the technical execution of the piece speaks very clearly for itself. It's an incredible piece. Make sure to check out the artist's other work because it's also clear to see how much improvement this artist has made in their time submitting to Newgrounds. That is it for this week's Artist Showcase, ladies and gentlemen and thank you very much for joining me. Unfortunately, I won't be doing an artist showcase next week because as you very well know, it is Christmas day next Wednesday and I will be celebrating it with my friends and family. So I'd like to wish you all a very happy holidays for whatever the hell you celebrate that I won't offend you by saying. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Do you want a chance for your artwork to be featured in the next showcase video? Upload your artwork to the art portal on newgrounds.com. Send me a link to your artwork by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time by submitting no more than one image per week to the artist showcase and make sure it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this week's showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.